What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 3, Episode 2. Episode 2 starts with Lexi, Devin, and Jake trying to figure out how to get inside of the White House. Mrs. Fairchild tells them about Chucky at the White House and she tells them that they can't go after him because it's too dangerous. The kids say say they can't keep hurting or saying that Chucky can't keep hurting people and they want revenge. Mrs. Fairchild says they aren't going alone and, then sh and that she's coming too. Grant wakes up to find that Henry and Joseph are in his bed. He comforts Henry, gives Joseph a hug, and they all go to bed. The Collins are shown having breakfast the next day, and they recommend pancakes for Joseph, who again we know is Chucky. Henry tells them that Joseph doesn't like fucking pancakes. President Collins tells, tells Henry he should take Joseph to school today, but he's convinced to let Joseph stay again to have another tour of the Oval Office. We end up meeting a CIA character named Warren, having a meeting with Charlotte, Vice President Spence, and President Collins. Warren says treat him like a ghost around here. Warren seems to be here to help take out the garbage surrounding Teddy because his death isn't without suspicion. Devin tells Lexi Grant is more than a fuckboy, as she initially suspected. And Lexi plans to reach out to Grant and goes live to initiate this. She also discloses her address, which I thought was pretty stupid, but I guess it was a fake address. Warren investigates Teddy's room and finds good guy sneaker prints in the closet, but he just brushes it off. Grant is shown going live on his phone at school. Lexi's video reaches Grant and he immediately starts smiling because he seems to like her already, seems to have a bit of an attraction to her. Lexi, Devin, and Jake arrange to meet Grant at a coffee shop. President Collins collects documents from Sam and says he lost Joseph. Sam decides to go to Colin's office and start looking for Joseph for some unknown reason. She just started going in there. But he's on the floor when she walks in, so I don't know how President Collins actually lost the damn doll. She picks Joseph up. He does a trick with a knife and kills her by slitting her throat. Joseph, who we can just call Chucky at this point, <laughs> says two down, four to go. Charlotte and President Collins are shown talking about protecting the American people, Teddy's family, and then Warren texts Charlotte to come alone without her husband. Warren and Charlotte talk about Sam's dead body and assume a killer is in the White House. Collins is the first independent president, according to Warren. VP Spencer goes to the Oval Office, but Charlotte stops him from entering and rushes him away because they're, of course, trying to figure out what they're going to do with Sam's body. They end up having Sam's remains disposed of, uh, Charlotte and Warren, that being. The next day, President Collins is concerned about Sam since it's not like her to be late. Of course, we know she's dead. <laughs> Lexi Devin and Mrs. Fairchild, as well as Jake, seem to have traveled to D.C. overnight. They meet with Grant at a coffee shop and she, Lexi, that ends up being flirting with Grant. Grant says he'll do what he can to help find her sister. Obviously, he feels for her since he lost his brother, Joseph. Lexi says she'd like to see him again, and he invites her to the White House. Charlotte is shown with President Collins, and she reveals that Sam checked herself into rehab, but that's obviously a lie. President Collins says he feels like he's, he feels like he's, or he feels like he doesn't even know the people he's working with. Charlotte begins to dance with Collins, but he goes back to the office to work. Devin and Jake are shown making out at their hotel. Mrs. Fairchild and Lexi walking on them making out. Charlotte tells Grant he can't see Lexi, Devin, and Jake, and they can't come to the White House. She eventually says she'll reach out to Miss Fairchild to arrange something. Miss Fairchild is shown talking to Devin and Jake about safe sex, and it's quite hilarious to be honest. She even mentions she mentions topping and bottoming. <laughs> the kids think of how to sneak into the Halloween event to target Chucky. Miss Fairchild meets with Charlotte at the White House to talk about the kids. Charlotte is informed by Warren that Teddy didn't kill himself and that the killer is someone very clever. Miss Fairchild is brutally strangled to death by Chucky with the American flag, and he says he couldn't resist making those kids orphans again. Chucky calls Charlotte and tells her he left a gift for her since she likes cleaning up after him. They find Mrs. Fairchild dead. Warren hands Charlotte an envelope revealing photos of an affair that Collins had. So he's blackmailing them to not get the police involved. 
Lexi, Devin, and Jake are worried about Mrs. Fairchild, but she calls them from her phone. But of course, it's just Chucky. He tells them Mrs. Fairchild had to go spend quality time with their dead parents in hell. He says this will be their bloodiest Halloween yet, and the episode concludes. That is the recap for Chucky Season 3, Episode 2. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.